I can't believe it. Guys, it's the guy from Fast and Furious. He's in the game. And guess what? His active skill is raising his eyebrow. That's gonna be OP, bro. That's super broken. <laughs> nah, guys, come on. But in all seriousness, this is the new leadership commander, Lapu Lapu from Philippines. And you can expect him in the game after two Mightiest Governors. So I think in the first week of March, in the early of March, you can get your hands on this bad boy. So this is gonna be a short one. I'm gonna give you my opinion whether you should invest in him and who should invest in this commander to get the best and maximum value. So without any further, let's get to the skills. Right, so the active skill, 2000 damage factor to five targets and this AOE damage is circular. So that is very nice to have. Plus you deal 300 extra damage factor if your current target is a rally. So what that means is this extra damage factor is applied if Lapu Lapu is on the field and you're attacking a rally or if Lapu Lapu is in a garrison and a rally is attacking you. So with that, the damage factor is 2300. Nothing too crazy, but it's just like decent. And in case you're wondering, here is the animation for active skill. Skill number two, 20% stats and 10% skill damage bonus if Lapu Lapu is attacking a rally. So right off the bat, if you want to know my opinion if this commander is good on open field, <laughs> well. And I've got to say in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. But, 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 but that is only for open field. So please do not use this guy for open field. It's just horrible. It's a war crime, right? However, this guy can be quite a heavy hitter if you put him in your city garrison. And for example, you random TP to enemy territory and they rally your city. But we'll get to that in a second. Let's just finish the rest of the skills. Skill number three. So if you have three or more different units, for example, archer, cavalry, and infantry, then we get 10% defense and 10% health. And not gonna lie, these stats are kinda low. At least compared to other garrison commanders like Heraclius, where he gives you 40% health, and that is huge. But this guy gives you 20% attack and just 20% defense and health combined. So it's not looking too great for Lapu Lapu in terms of stats, but let's continue. 5% damage reduction if you're garrisoning in a flag or for example Alliance Fortress, but extra 5% damage reduction if you're garrisoning in your own city. So that is 10% damage reduction if Lapu Lapu is your city garrison. And that is kinda decent, that's not bad. A skill number four, if this commander is garrisoning a structure like a flag, then you get 10% damage bonus for three seconds. However, if you're garrisoning a city, your own city, then you get double of that, so 20% damage bonus for three seconds. Not bad. But I'm also kinda wondering if this damage bonus gets stacked. So 20%, 40%, 60%, and so on. And that is kinda interesting. That's gonna be that's gonna be OP in that case. So yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on that one. And now let's move to the expertise. So 2000 damage factor, that doesn't change, it is the same, but now the extra direct damage that you deal towards the rallied armies is 500 instead of 300. Plus you're able to apply a disarm effect where you are blocking the enemy's uh, basic attack in the next turn and you get 10% less skill damage for the next 3 seconds. So let's sum it up. Overall, the numbers and the stats, they are kinda low, not gonna lie, but I'm not too sure now, I'm not too sure yet. We're gonna have to test it to see how OP this guy is when when he comes out, obviously. We're gonna have to do some garrison and city rally testing. But in terms of city garrison, this guy can definitely be strong, especially if you pair him with Heraclius. Then these two, they have double circle AoE and they can do some heavy damage, right? I mean Lapu Lapu, he has a higher damage. Heraclius has a shield. Lapu Lapu has damage increase and damage reduction. So in terms of pairings, I would say Heraclius with Lapu Lapu can be a great pair for your city garrison. For flag garrison, I mean, it's kind of meh because we have better options like Gorgo. And in terms of open field, <laughs> just don't even think about it because Lapu Lapu's only first and second skill are useful for field and the rest are just made for garrison. So yeah, that is an instant skip for a guy like me who is only specializes in the open field. But I think it's even the same for majority of free to plays and low spenders because let's be honest, who, who of you would go to enemy territory and take a city rally, right? Let's be honest. So for you guys, I would say skip as well and better save your gold heads for the next CAF commander. That will be coming out probably in June, early July. So you can have him instant max, instant expertise. So for Lapu Lapu, I would say only the Veils and high spenders should go for this guy and just max him right off the bat. 
because I mean it's only these guys who would random TP in enemy territory and they would take city rally without having to worry about the consequences. So overall, who is the better city garrison, Heraclius or Lapu Lapu? It's definitely Heraclius because of more utility, plus he gives you shield which is exactly what you need to last longer when you're getting a city rally. So once again, if you don't have Heraclius, don't go for Lapu Lapu. Get Heraclius first and then you can go for Lapu Lapu and pair these two for your city garrison. And if you want to get Lopu just for the sake of chaining barbarians because he has circular AoE, I think we already have too many options. We have YSG, we have Heraclius, we have, uh, for example, we have Cyrus from his force skill, you get circular AoE. We have Juge, <laughs> we have Juge, I mean, come on, and uh, so many others which have circular AoE uh, damage. So Lapu Lapu wouldn't be that much of a priority for your chaining, I would say. So once again, the best thing for free to play is low spenders and open field players is just to skip Lapu Lapu and save heads for the new cavalry or just invest in better options like Heraclius and Gorgo. Plus you have zero march speed, zero. I think you're better off using Lancelot for open field than Lapu Lapu and just keep this guy, lock this guy in a garrison and garrison only. But regardless whether you like it or you don't like it, you love it, you hate it, one thing, for damn sure, what? you are gonna what? respect it.